Hi everyone, thanks for checking out my video. My name is Miranda and I have been trying to make videos about how I use the Noteful app for digital planning. If you missed my first video, I'll put a link to it below. It's all about how the layers work in Noteful and how I use them in my planner. I'm just gonna warn you, I do ramble a lot, but if you're new to the app or you're curious how it compares to other apps like GoodNotes, it might still be helpful to you. But today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite tools in Noteful, and that is the Shapes tool. It's seriously a game changer when it comes to customizing your planner. When I first got into digital planning, I'd spend hours scrolling through Etsy looking for the perfect planner. I'd find one, get super excited, and use it for a month or two, only to realize that it no longer fit my needs. Um, but over time, I've learned some tricks to tweak the planners I buy and make them way more customizable to fit what works for me. And most of the time that changes from week to week or even day to day. But the Shapes tool is one of the best ways to do that. You can create color blocks to make your planner not only look beautiful, but make it work exactly how you want it to work. Plus, you can switch things up as often as you want. So I'm just going to show you how I use color blocks or the shapes tool to make a weekly insert. Um, so this is my planner, my 2024 planner from Breezy Organization. Um, any stickers, the planners I use in this video are all from her shop. I, I love her stuff. So let's go to my week. So the first thing I want to do is I want to cover up the layout that's already here. It's beautiful, but I want to make my own. So I'm just going to select my lasso tool, draw a square, take a screenshot and add that to the page. So now I'm going to use this white box to cover everything up. Just start with a blank canvas. All right, perfect. Once I have that in place, I don't want to accidentally keep picking it up and moving it. So I am going to send it. I have two layers in my planner and I just named them locked and editing. So I want to send this to that locked layer. So the way you do that is you tap on it and this um, toolbar comes up. You're just going to hit the over arrow, move to layer and locked layer. So now you can see if I lasso it, it's not picking it up because it's on another layer and it's locked. Okay, so now really quick, I'm just going to show you how the shapes tool works. There are two ways you can use it. You can use your highlighter or your pen and you can just draw a shape. And that works great. It snaps to a perfect square. I can change the size. I can move it around or I can hit the style button and I can change the color, change the fill and put a border on it. It's a great way to do it. But the way I like to use the shapes is on my toolbar on the side here, you can see this little icon that has shapes on it. So if you tap on that, it brings up all of the different shape inserts you can use. They're pretty basic, but honestly, they've always worked for me when I'm trying to create my spreads. Um, I just, I love them. I, I haven't needed anything else. So if I wanted to add a square with rounded corners, I can just tap on it and look what I get. So you guys might think I'm crazy for being so excited about this, that you can do solid filled shapes in Noteful, but it is really hard to find note-taking apps that can do this. If you use good notes, you know what I'm talking about. When you draw a shape, it does fill it, but it fills it with this really light highlighter color and you can't change it. So I was so excited about this feature in Noteful. You can change the opacity of the shape. So if I select it, I can hit style here. And in this style toolbar, or toolbar I don't know, this pop-up box, I can change the color. I can change the opacity. Um, I can put a border on it. There's lots of things you can do. So changing the opacity is really helpful. Like if you have a sticker, let me grab a fun sticker really quick do this one because it's my Christmas one. So let's just do this one. Okay. So if I have a sticker on the page, I'm going to send it to the back. You can see now that I've changed the opacity on this. You can kind of see the sticker through it and I can make it as light or as dark and solid as I want it. But um, this can be kind of fun if you're trying to put a sticker on the page and you want to put your blocks over it, but still see the sticker. You can have a lot of fun with it. Also, just so 
that might be interesting to know, you can change the opacity of stickers and fonts in Noteful also. So if I tap on my sticker and I hit style, you can see I can make the sticker lighter and more see-through um, right here. And I can also put a border on it and do some other things, but um, you can you can get pretty creative and have a lot of fun with that. I won't get into that because in this video, I just wanted to talk about shapes. Um, I don't want to make it, I'm trying not to make it too long. So I know a lot of um, planner creators, um, they create these pre-made um, shapes blocks, I guess I'm, I'm probably not explaining that well, but like, for example, Breezy Organization, every month she comes out with some new um, shape templates that match that month's theme and they'll match the stickers she's selling in her shop. I love them. They're beautiful. They're so much fun to use, but the only problem is you can't edit the colors on them because they're just an image. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in my stickers right here. This is a set that I brought from that I bought from Breezy Organization. I think it's a daily planning template set, but I mean, you can use it for whatever you want. But I love it. It's beautiful. The colors are beautiful, but I may not want to use these colors all month or I may be wanting to match my weekly colors to a sticker I want to use. And there's just no way to edit it because this is an image. So, I just I just wanted to show you guys a workaround I found for that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want this to fit my page perfectly. So I am going to crop it just a little bit. Try that. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So now I am just going to use this image as my template. So I have it in place. I don't want it to move. So I am going to move to layer and send it to the locked layer. So now I'm not going to accidentally pick it up and move it around. So now I'm going to pick a color that I want to use. I think I will start with this light blue color. I'm going to tap on my shapes tool and grab this square. So now I have this beautiful solid colored filled square or rectangle that I am going to place over the one here. So I'm just going to drag it and make it fit perfectly. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to do another one right here on this square. And you kind of want to take your time with this and really get it to match because it will just look nicer. All right, now I'm going to pick another color. Let's go with this light kind of gold color. Grab my square and I'm going to cover up this one. Okay, let's do another one. Sorry, you guys, if I knew how to edit videos, I could make this go faster so you don't have to watch me do this, but I don't, so <laughs> I guess you just have to watch me, or I guess you could fast forward it, you know? All right, so let's pick another color. I'm gonna go with this one that's a little bit darker gold, and I will put it over this one. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like doing this. Something about it just relaxes me, so. I don't mind taking my time and kind of making my inserts. All right, perfect. All right, one more. Let's go with this dark blue. Okay. And this really doesn't take that much time. And once you have it all set up, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to edit it. So you can kind of take your time setting it up, but then after that, it's going to be so easy to use. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that I have all of those blocks covered with my own shapes, I am going to hop back into this layer. And for a minute, I'm just going to turn it off because I want to be able to see that locked layer that's underneath. So I'm going to go to the locked layer. I am going to grab my lasso tool and select this and delete it. Oops, and I think I drew on it too. Get rid of that. Okay. So now that um, image I was using as my template is gone. So let's turn back on my eyeball tool, go back into the editing layer. And there you go. You have your own custom made um, layout, I guess, template, whatever you want to call it, that you can reuse over and over again. So if I wanted to change any of these colors or make it match a sticker that I'm using, all I have to do is tap on my lasso tool. I can select that, go to style, 
um, I can pick a color I already have, or if I'm trying to match a sticker, I'll just hit this, hit wheel, and then I can use this eyedropper tool to pick a color that I'm trying to match with. And I can go through and change the colors as much as I want. It's so easy to use. Then, once you have everything kind of set how you want to use it, I grab the lasso tool and I just circle it all and I use an over arrow and I tap on group. So now all of my shapes are grouped together and they're kind of just grouped in one image. So it makes it so, so much easier to move around and then I can hit save. So it, this, when I hit save, it brings you into your stickers. So I have just some I don't know if they're folders, sections, you can name your sections. And like, I would want to save this in the weekly layouts. So if I tap on that and hit save, you can see that now it's saved in my weekly layouts. So, sorry, I already had one, I just deleted that one. Um, but now if I wanted to use it again the next month or like a month from now, if I wanted to use it again, all I have to do is hit on my stickers tool here, um, go to the folder that I called weekly layouts and find it and it there it goes it's inserted into my planner and you'll notice I don't even have to resize it whatever size it is when you save it is the size it's going to be when you go to reuse it so if you're careful and you kind of get it at the perfect size you'll never have to size it again and it is ready for me to start planning on so I just want to show you a few other ones that I've made just so you can get ideas about how you can use the different shapes for it so if I go into this, let's see. This is one that I made with hexagons. So they're hexagons and then I use the oval shape and the circle shape, but I can edit anything I want in this. If I wanna change the font, I can change the font. If I wanna take off these little circles, um, if I decide I don't like them, all I have to do is ungroup it and I can change anything I want in it and because I made it, so it's completely editable. Let's see, let me show you one more. Let's get rid of that. All right, um, this is one that I made with circles and I just think it's so cute. So there's so many creative options for you. If you need ideas of um, pretty spreads that you can create, I recommend that you join a digital planning group because people are so creative. They have the best ideas. Whenever I'm feeling kind of uncreative and I can't think of what I wanna do for that week, I just kind of scroll through those and. You get such great ideas. Okay, so if you want to stop watching the video there, if you feel inspired and you want to go make your own spreads, go for it. But um, I am going to keep recording and I'm just going to show you how I would set this up for my week, just in case you want to see how it looks when I'm all finished with it. So I'm going to get this back in position right where I want it. Then I am going to move to that locked layer because now it's where I want it. I don't want it moving around. So the first thing I want to add to this is some numbers. So if you watched my last video, I am kind of obsessed with these clock numbers that I got from Breezy Organization. Let me go to them. So I'm going to use those. And this is just a font that I have, but I just, just to make it faster, I just kind of made it not, not like a sticker. It's still just a font. But if you like it, it's called Toasted Cinnamon. I think I just got it from the font. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and bring that in too, just to make the video go a little faster. So the week I'm starting with is the 15th. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I am just going to try to lasso everything, but I don't need the three or the four. All right, let's see if I got it. And I'm, I copied it and go back into my planner and paste it. Oh, perfect. I did. All right, nice. Oh, and the other great thing I kind of forgot about, but I know a lot of people who digital plan, they sometimes like to have their monthly start, like a Sunday start, but then for their weeks, they want it to be a Monday start. It can be a little bit tricky to find a planner that does that, but if you're setting up your own weeks, you can make it start with any day of the week that you want. So it's, I just love how customizable it can be. Okay, so let's set this up. I think, oh, I need to resize these numbers because they are definitely too big. So I'm just gonna circle them and hit resize and then I can kind of drag them down to the size I think I need. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with that. All right, so I'm gonna start with the 15th. I'll start over here. Sorry, 
if you guys want to fast forward this too, if you don't want to watch me put my numbers in, it will not hurt my feelings. So let's see. All right, 15th. And now I'm going to need that one. Um, I'm going to need to use it a few more times. So I'm just going to copy it and then paste it. And that way it's already sized to the size I want it. So I don't have to keep resizing it. So let's see. I think I'll go with the 16th right here. I'm kind of rushing, so <laughs> they may not line up the best, but I mean, I think you get the idea. I'll do the 17th down here. I'm going to paste another one. Perfect. And then let's make this one the 18th. Perfect. And do the 19th. All right, I just want to get these out of the way. Okay, and then we'll do the 20th. I might have to change a few things. Perfect. And then we'll make this one the 21st. I'm just gonna duplicate this too. Perfect, all right. Well, I mean, it's not perfect. I definitely could make it a little bit better. And I'll probably switch where the numbers are a little bit because I don't know if I love it, but you get the idea. So now, I like to start with Sunday, so I'm going to go ahead and just move these over where I want them. Tuesday, Wednesday, oops, Friday, all right, and Saturday. So you see how easy that is to set up and I kind of saved this. I think I'll put January in it, but this is after the pin. So this is what it looks like once I get it all set up. You can be so creative and make it look just so beautiful and fun. Um, so in one of my planning groups, just like a tip if you are like me and sometimes you don't have a lot to plan, but um, I was in one of my planning groups and this really sweet lady was talking about how much she loves creating these really beautiful spreads, but then it makes her kind of sad when she actually goes to plan on them because she just doesn't have that much stuff that she needs to plan. So it would look kind of empty. And I'm kind of in the same boat as her. Like I do work a full-time job and I have three kids, but my job, my hours are the same. I work the same days, the same hours. So I don't really need to plan that. And my kids are all grown up. Two of them have already moved out and my baby's in high school. So <laughs> I don't really need to plan my schedule around what she's doing anymore. So sometimes my planner feels a little empty, but Another lady gave this great advice. She said that what she does is she just leaves space on her planner for her top three. So every night before she goes to bed, she just writes down three things that she has to get done tomorrow. So that way, no matter what kind of a day she has, as long as she can check off those three things in her planner, she feels accomplished. She feels like she had a great day. And I love that. That's always stuck with me. So I always do that. And plus, um, it kind of just, if you don't have a lot to plan, it takes up some space in your planner and makes it look like you have more to plan, right? <laughs> also, um, I love planning my dinners on my weekly um, because it's just so nice to look at it and see who's going to be home that night. Sometimes if my husband's home, he's cooking, I don't plan dinners, um, but it just makes planning your dinner so much easier. And I love it now that you can do links in Noteful. So if you write your dinner down, um, you can add a link to it. So then you can just tap on it and it will bring you to your recipe. It's just, it's so awesome. I love the Noteful app so much. So sorry, this video is probably long and I talk too much, but I hope you got some good ideas out of it and you kind of learned how you can use the shapes to make really beautiful spreads um, that you can just customize. And I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.